This is Focus 94.3, the 7th of March, 2010. Philemon Lar uh, will assess the process to fulfill. Yes, Atta, I was speaking in, in reference to the EC allowing all 14 aspirants to go through the process. As I was saying, I don't know how many of our listeners are aware of this court case against the Electoral Commission. I think the Legal and of Constitution, Legal Affairs Commission of the SRC sent the Electoral Commission to court on an issue, two issues actually. The first issue was about the illegality of the Electoral Commission to interpret or give meaning to certain provisions of our Constitution. You would bear with me that prior to the electoral processes, the Electoral Commission had come out with additional rules to govern the conduct of the election. And they sought to give meaning to Article 25, Clause 3, Paragraph C of our SRC Constitution. Per that additional rules that they brought out to govern the conduct of that election, they sought to give meaning to Article 25, Clause 3 of our Constitution, which to me is very, very, very unconstitutional. That should not have happened. So the, the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Commission, the Legal Affairs Commission of the SRC, sent the issue to court. The court ruled in the favor of the commission, saying that it is indeed unconstitutional. It is indeed unconstitutional for an electoral commission to give meaning to it. But they lost on an, on an issue. The other issue, the Legal Affairs Commission of the SRC sought relief from the Judicial Council was also the issue about uh, allowing all 14, all, all aspirants that uh, apply to pass through the process. That was their argument. This, they, were, they were praying that the court should allow everyone that applies that tenders in his uh, registration to pass through the process. Okay, and the mean? court ruled against him. So, I mean, the LA won one case and lost one. Now, if a court has ruled that not everyone in uh, that applies should pass through the process, then we have a situation where everyone is allowed to pass through. Does that not constitute contempt? My listeners, well those listeners, does this not constitute well contempt of court? Phil, you said you'd petition the Judicial Council in respect of, uh, or Felix was say, asking yes. uh, for a petition before interpreting the part where um, the um, Electoral Commission has a right to review yes. the um, decision or, or the recommendation by the screening panel. Have you done that? Well, you know, it happened on Thursday. On Friday, I went along with the process, but uh, I haven't submitted it. I know they only work on week, weekdays. But since I haven't really it would be before a court i better not spell out what my arguments are but then there's okay. some there's ample evidence to suggest that the ec has no right in fact he has no right to interpret the constitution in the first place he has no right in the second place to alterate as he used to alterate the results of the screening panel it's there that is there shall be a screening panel that should recommend or otherwise so it's not a duty of the ec the electoral commission to alterate the results of the veteran panel so i think i i, I would uh, proceed with my course and uh, God willing I hope justice will be meted out Thank you very much. That's coming from Philemon Laris. 20 minutes to Ada. Innocent Banasu, Praspo Zumaya, Udru Amwa, Epo Anima Aka, Patrick Adonu, Henry Nanabwashi, Gabriel Kufo, um, Gabriel Adehe Kwame, Jack Pasu Kwesi, Ronald Rejei, and George Che e Champong, as well as Samuel Amponsan, Ajing Eric, and Eric Anuo. Um, for the presidency, are expected to be here. Uh, for the secretary, Amisa Zanabu Bakuwe, and Nana Timabwashi. And then 